What is up, guys? Thank you for checking out another Guido Stacking video. I really appreciate that. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new Wonder Woman coin and the old Batman coin. As you guys know, Batman was released last year. They just released Wonder Woman, which is right here. And uh, we're going to compare the two coins and kind of discuss what I think is going to happen um, over the course of this series. So the Marvel, the Marvel series is a very popular series. The first release, which is the Spider-Man, is now worth about $190. So there is massive opportunity for flipping these coins, even though DC is maybe not as popular as Marvel. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I don't know. I think Marvel has a lot more characters, a lot more popularity in the characters. But regardless, the mintage between the two is about 10,000 uh, difference. There is about 25,000, if I'm not mistaken, of the Marvel coins each. And these are being released with the 15,000 mintage. So with that mintage, the 15,000 mintage, those coins... If you look at releases that have been released recently with that mintage of 15,000, they have um, gone up quite a bit. If you look at the Black Flag series, Queens and Revenge, that's now a 90 plus dollar coin. Spider-Man in the Marvel series, that's $190. And Zeus from the Gods of Olympus series, that coin is also going to go up. That's about 70 bucks now, maybe even more than that. And I haven't checked. So the Batman coin has way more upside than the Wonder Woman coin because what happens usually, um, the coins in between the series, right? So from the second release all the way to the very end, pretty much stay almost the same price. Very rarely do you see the second in the series start going up uh, more than the others. The first in the series, and I've done a whole video on first releases of new series, um, are the ones that usually go up majorly in price. Now, when Batman was released, it was released when spot price was a little bit higher, and that could be why the coin was more expensive. I think I paid around $50 or so for the Batman coins. They are now going for about uh, 65 plus, and the Wonder Woman... Spot price was at $24 and change, and I paid about $45 per coin. So we got to see what happens. I wish these mints would tell us, you know, how many <laughs> they plan on making as far as uh, how long the series is going to be. The Marvel series so far, I think they're up to nine coins. And with every release, the Spider-Man coin seems to get more and more and more expensive. That is the longest running series out of all the series I just mentioned. The Gods of Olympus, the Black Flag, and now this one. And that is nine coins in. And that's why Spider-Man is now worth $190 plus. So if they were to do the same thing with this series with a mintage of only 15000 that Batman coin has massive, massive potential being the first release and Batman being arguably uh, the more popular character thus far. Um, as far as design goes, uh, you can pretty much tell they use the same city backdrop, it looks like. It's almost identical, but uh, it seems like the design is going to be more uniform. If you compare these to the Marvel series, they are more unique in their design. Each one has... Um, you know, their own logo, kind of like this one does. It has the Batman logo, it has the Wonder Woman logo. But uh, their design is very unique. You got the position of the characters in a different way. You have close-ups. You have the full body of the, the characters. This one seems to be more uniform so far with these two releases. But they went very um, uh, plain Jane on the Wonder Woman, as you can see, there's a lot of blank uh, space on this coin, which is kind of nice. It's a simple design. I actually like that. Uh, they didn't fill up the whole 
coin. So it, you know, it does look a little empty. But yeah, that top part above the logo, that's just a void in there. But it actually makes it look pretty nice. So um, I like the coins so far. In a way, I kind of like that they're uniform in the design. But um, if every single character has that same city backdrop, I don't know. We got to see how it goes with the next you know, couple releases. But um, very generic look for the Wonder Woman. But still, I do like it. And uh, the quality of coins so far, from what I've seen, have been really good. The Batman coins, I bought a bunch of them, and none of them have any imperfections from the mint. And um, I only bought a handful of the Wonder Woman coins. And those also, um, from the ones I got at least, don't really have that many imperfections. Even with that um, blank area up top here, there's a lot of room for them to make some errors or, you know, anything, any imperfection to really show when they stamp the die. So, um, I think, guys, that this series, as hot as comic books are now, uh, I think this series is a really good opportunity to flip. If you're a flipper, if you just like to collect them, then, you know, that's a different thing. But uh, if you decide to collect them, you don't want the Batman coin to run away from you. What I mean by that is you don't want to decide, I'm going to start collecting the DC coins five releases in because the Batman coin by that time is probably probably going to be around 100 bucks. let Let's Let's be real there. So you want to get in sooner than later if this is your thing. If you're a flipper, I'm sure you already know, first releases, that's at least the first release is the coin you want. It always seems to happen. The first release is the one that uh, just blows up in price. All right? But, um, yep, you don't want to pay for being late. So if you're late to the party, that's why you're going to have to pay more for that first release. Anyways, guys, um, I asked who would win in a fight, <laughs> Wonder Woman or Batman. I got a little bit of a mixed um vote here going on i got a little bit of batman a little bit of wonder woman let me know in the comments who you think would actually win in a fight but if i had to choose between these two coins it is still batman batman is the nicer design it's the first release it is um that is so far the chase coin but these wonder woman i'm telling you the series is gonna be hot sold out on Atmex to the point where they don't even have the listing on there anymore. You can't even see that it's sold out. It's completely gone, and it's sold out fast. So this is going to be a hot series. Plenty of room to make some money if you're a flipper, and um, if you're a collector and you know, you're know you into this, this is a cool series to start collecting for sure. And it's probably going to be a pretty long one, and those are usually the ones that you're going to want to... Um, hold on to that first release anyways guys thanks for checking out the video and i will talk to you guys later